This video is made possible by Spencer Shipley at Packy Webb Ford in Downers Grove, Illinois. Spencer is dedicated to finding the right car for you in the quickest time possible. Give him a call or contact him with the information up on the screen or found in the description below. Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 2021 Ford F-250 Super Duty Lariat Tremor. Up front is a 7.3 liter V8, and down below is a 10-speed automatic transmission. Now, I'm super excited to be driving this here F-250 for a couple of different reasons. First of all, it's been a while since I've gotten behind the wheel of an F-250, but I've done some previous generations early 90s, mid 2000s, and now a 2021. But the second reason I'm really excited to be driving this truck is because this is the Tremor package for the F-250 Super Duty. So before we go any further, I will outline what the Tremor package includes. This is from Ford's official website. It says this package is available on the F-250 and F-350 and is a specially equipped Super Duty 4x4 powered by the 7.3 liter or 6.7 liter Power Stroke V8 diesel. Included in the package are 35 inch off-road tires, 18 inch low gloss black painted wheels, unique front springs for ride height increase, electronic locking rear differential, front limited slip differential, performance shocks, low profile off-road running boards, transfer case and fuel tank skid plates, unique front air dam for increased approach angle, water fording vent tubes for the transfer case and axle, rock crawl and trail control modes, tremor decal, 35 inch spare tire, and body color wheel lip moldings. So that is what comes in the Tremor package for the F-250 and F-350, and that's what I'm driving today. It'll be really interesting to compare this vehicle to the GMC Sierra 2500 AT4 that I recently drove because they're priced very similarly and they're sort of off-road oriented vehicles. But let's get back to that 7.3 liter gasoline V8. Well, I'll put the horsepower and torque up on the screen. It makes good horsepower, but it is non-turbo, which I would have liked to have seen either like a turbo diesel or something of the sort for piloting this ginormous vehicle. But with that comes a pretty good towing number, which I'm putting up on the screen right now. And that's why you buy an F-250. You buy an F-250 because it can do everything. It can pull whatever you want. And that's really, really important to some people. And so that's why you buy this truck. I don't really know the miles per gallon because the EPA here in America does not rate vehicles this large. If you notice in my GMC Sierra 2500 video, I don't have the miles per gallon of that either. All right, little acceleration test here. Yeah, I mean, it It sounds like it's going, but I mean, this thing is so huge. Even with a 7.3 liter V8, driving this truck is like trying to spin the world in reverse. It's a lot to handle, so I'm surprised that any gasoline engine is handling it at all. So I do have drive modes on the end of the shifter itself, so we'll get a little video here. We have normal towing and hauling, eco, slippery, deep snow and sand, and rock crawl, which is part of the Tremor package. Like I said, paired to a 10 speed automatic transmission. Now, the F-150s also get this 10 speed automatic, and so I've driven it a handful of times, and I think it's overall a pretty good transmission. It shifts really, really quietly. I don't even notice the fact that it is shifting, and that's what I look for in modern automatic transmissions. Last but not least, of course, the Tremor is four wheel drive. But before we get on with the rest of the video, I want to say thank you to the people who made this video possible. First up, cashforcars.com wants to buy your car. They will buy your car with a clean title, salvage title, running, non-running, whatever it may be. You can get your free quote by clicking the link in the description below. Cashforcars.com is the easiest way to sell your car. Within a couple of clicks, they'll come pick up your car in less than 24 hours. 
You don't even have to leave the couch and it's absolutely awesome. Next up, we have con plates. The con plate is a suction cup mount for your license plate when you don't want to mount it to the front of your car. If you have to legally have a front license plate like you do here in Illinois, but you don't want to stick it on the front of your car, you think it's ugly, you want to take it off for car shows, whatever it may be, you can actually just put your license plate into the suction cup holder and put it in your front windshield when driving around to remain legal. You can get your con plate in the description below and every sale helps out the channel. So make sure your car looks good with con plates. Last but not least, I wanna talk about the fixed OBD2 sensor. Now this is a Bluetooth sensor that you plug into your OBD2 port on your car and it gives you a ton of cool information like your check engine lights, how to fix your check engine lights, approximately how much it should cost, maintenance intervals like oil change, tire rotation, brake pads, when you should change that stuff out. This is absolutely fantastic for anyone into cars or anyone looking to get into mechanics. Fixed is offering my viewers a discount through that link, so go check it out and again, help support the channel. But with all of that out of the way, let's get on with the review. So let's talk about the interior. We have a couple interesting things to chat about with the F-250, that it being a Lariat as well as the Tremor. So in front of me, I have two physical gauges along with a screen. On the left is my tachometer, on the right is my speedometer, and then like I said, I have a center screen displaying my oil pressure, coolant temperature, fuel, and transmission temperature, which I love that Ford leaves that up on the screen, as well as I am cycling through a couple different pages you can look at in that center screen. I like the customization of it. However, the Ford F-150 Platinum had a bit nicer of a screen. However, that was only a 1500 where this is a 2500 series truck. On the steering wheel, on the left, I have my controls for that center screen and the gauges and cruise control. And then on the right, I have my volume, skip track, voice commands, mute, and phone options. The overall steering wheel feels nice. It is leather stitched around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. But I like it, it looks modern and it looks solid enough for the F-250. To the left of me, I do have mirror lights, so I can turn on some mirror lights to illuminate the work site if I want, and then I have my headlight settings, switches, and dimmer switches, and then down below all of that, I have my pedal adjusters, so I can actually move the pedals forward or back, depending on my height, to give me the most comfortable driving position when piloting this mansion. On the door, I have my mirrors in and out, so I can actually power push out the mirrors, which is really nice. However, they are not one touch in or out. You have to hold the button down, which in the GMC you didn't have to do, but I like that customization of it, and I can fold in my mirrors even while I'm driving right now, which is a little worrying, but I can fold in my mirrors at the push of a button, which is great because these mirrors are the size of the end zone in Soldier Field. Then I have my power windows, of course power locks. I have three different memory seat options, which is great for multiple drivers in your family or multiple workers or whatever it may be. Up above me, something really interesting, and I normally don't talk about the center head consoles, is the fact that I have six different auxiliary switches in the F-250. Now, these switches right now do nothing. They literally don't do a single thing, but there are four people who hook up work lights, LED light bars, or anything you wanna hook up, you can wire it to this switch. So then, if you have a light bar on the front, you can flip it on up here instead of having to run some weird auto zone switch that goes under the seat and there's eight different wires and they all look weird and it looks like a homemade clock. No, you don't have to do any of that. You can wire it to the switch. It looks clean. It looks like it's supposed to be there and that is absolutely fantastic. Moving into the center, we do have upgraded speakers here in the F-250 Lariat, which I like it. It's the same upgraded speakers you'll find in like the Explorer ST or the F-150 Platinum. I think they're good, I think they're solid. And then I have my traction control button, hill descent control, hazard switch, and lane keep assist buttons. And then we have the center screen. The center screen is pretty good. I can do onboard Wi-Fi. I can look at my vehicle, change settings and things like that but there's nothing really too wowing about the center screen. It is smaller than what you would find in the Platinum F-150, but it's on par with other trim levels of the F-150, so I can't knock it too hard. I also have climate control options here in the F-250 in the screen, which I like, 
because I also get physical climate controls and we'll talk about that a little bit later on. So I like the sort of visual aspect that you get here in the center screen. Last but not least, the backup camera is pretty good. It's clear, it's consistent, and I can't really say too much more about it. Down below the center screen, we have the media buttons, volume, favorites, tune, things like that. Nothing really too interesting. To the left of those radio dials, I do have my four wheel drive settings. So two high, four high, and four low, as well as the locking rear differential to pull out. I really, really like that feature. And then to the right of the radio controls, I have a 12 volt outlet as well as a wall outlet that is 110 volts, 400 watts, which is fantastic. And then I have my physical climate controls, dual zone climate, which is fantastic, heated and ventilated seats, love that feature. And we get my little Ford man showing you where the temperature can go. And overall, I like how clean and simple it is. To the left of the climate controls, I do have my trailer brake adjustment settings, which is super, super handy. Then in the center console, we do have a little cubby with two USBs in, a traditional and a USB-C. However, I don't get a wireless charger in this cubby, something that's found on the Platinum F-150, and I would have liked to have seen on the F-250 Lariat, but beggars can't be choosers. Then down below all that, I have a cubby to the left that fits my phone, uh, tools, objects, whatever it may be. A lot of storage here in the F-250 and I really like that. And then to the right, I do have cup holders. Now these cup holders actually do fit the big friggin' bottle for the big friggin' bottle test, which the reason I sound surprised is because the front cup holders of the F-150 did not fit the big friggin' bottle. I had to go to the back cup holders, but this I can actually fit the big friggin' bottle in the front so it gets a thumbs up all around pass. So something really interesting I just noticed about the F-250's cup holders is I thought that this was kind of flimsy, but it's actually so you can slide it over and then this is like even too big for the big friggin' bottle. Look at that. That is so genius from Ford's standpoint. So you can actually have pretty much four cup holders up here, which is fantastic. This thing gets three thumbs up. Then I have this giant center console, some coin holders in here, another 12 volt outlet, and that's about it. I mean, you could fit a ton in this center console, plenty of space in the F-250, and I get two more cup holders on the back, like I mentioned. Now, the seats are nice and comfortable. Like I said, they are heated, they are ventilated, they are power, and they are memory. However, they do not get the massage feature that the F-150 Platinum gets. So I have to give them a double thumbs up. They're very comfortable. They can do everything I really need them or would want them to do. Massaging is nice and something you can seek out in multiple Ford products, but not the end of the world that I don't have it here. But speaking of seats, this is a crew cab, so we do have back seats. So let's do a back seat review. All right, so now we're in the back of the 2021 Ford F-250 Lariat Tremor Super Duty, I don't know where that name falls in the name, but whatever, very, very comfy back here. First of all, sitting in the seat, headroom is great. I have probably about an inch or two in between my head and the ceiling, and I'm 5'11". Leg room is not even a question. Um, I have that much room between my knee and the seat in front of me, which is fantastic. Down on the center console, I do have a 12-volt outlet, two USB chargers, and another 110 volt, 400 watt wall outlet like we found up front. What I don't get back here is heated seats, something I would have liked to have seen for a vehicle at this price point, and the GMC Sierra had that, but again, not the end of the world. I do have a little center console here with two cup holders that fold down. Those cup holders are extremely cold right now because it is extremely cold outside. And then I do have this third window that'll open up. I really, really like this. I love when pickup trucks have a third window back here that'll actually slide open. And that's actually operated on a switch up above the driver. Last but not least, I get to enjoy this panoramic sunroof. It starts above the driver and comes all the way back here. I love the look of this. I love staring out it. I think it adds a lot of nice airy light to the cabin and it makes it feel more premium. You know, Jeremy Clarkson defined luxury as space and light. And you definitely have a ton of space back here and you definitely get a lot of light back here, a lot of natural light back here, which I think is really, really huge and important to a vehicle like this. But with all that out of the way, let's go talk about the bed and the tailgate. All right, so now we're on the back of the F-250. 
no power tailgate, which is unfortunate because the GMC Sierra of the same price range, of the same sort of, you know, 2,500 capacity does have a power tailgate, but that is missing here from the F-250. I'll put the bed dimensions up on the screen for those of you interested, but there's nothing really going on back here. I do have some tie downs in the corners and I do have a nice Ford logo up at the front, but besides that, again, nothing really too crazy. I do have this step that I can pull out to help get up into the F-250. But like I said, this truck is so high that it sort of is almost an issue getting up into because even this step is way above my knee. So it'd be kind of hard to use anyway. Now we gotta talk about the looks. I really, really like the Tremor package on the F-250. I think the wheels, I think the running boards, the blacked out chrome, I think it all looks really, really good. I think it looks aggressive. And as soon as I walked up to this truck this morning, immediately the first thought I had in my head was, this is an absolute unit. I mean, really, if I didn't know any better, I would assume that this truck was actually chiseled out of obsidian. I do also like the lifted ride height that the Tremor package offers. However, if you struggle to get into vehicles, if you have a bad hip, bad back, vertigo, anything like that, getting into this truck is quite the task with that raised suspension. Now I do have the running boards and I have a grab handle up here by the steering wheel, but if you really do suffer from any sort of movement issue, this is gonna be a rough one for you. Now I wanna talk about my final thoughts here on the F-250 Lariat Tremor. Well, I really, really like this truck. This truck can do it all. I think it looks really good. That's one of the biggest selling points for me on this truck is how good it looks. But before we get on to that, I wanna talk about the things that I don't like. I always wanna to try to end on a positive note. I don't like the 7.3 liter under the hood. It's a gasoline V8, it's non-turbo, and it just doesn't really cut the mustard for what I'm looking for. But the F-250 is offered with a 6.7 liter turbo diesel V8. So I would honestly opt for that. It's gonna have more pulling power anyway. If you're going up to the F-250, I really wouldn't waste your time with a gasoline engine. I also don't like the fact that some of the features in here are a little bit lacking as opposed to an equivalently priced F-150. Like I said, this has the smaller screen. This does not have massaging seats, which again, isn't the end of the world, but just for my dollar, it'll get stretched amenity-wise a little bit further in an F-150. Now let's talk about the things that I really do like about the F-250. Well, first of all, like I said, I really love the look of it. I think the Tremor package is something I would definitely seek out, not only for the usability of the skid plates, the suspension, the ride height, but I think it just looks better, it looks more aggressive, and I really just like the look of it. The other reason I really like the F-250 is the capabilities. Like I said, it has a great towing capacity, and it's going to do whatever job you really need it to do. If you need to pull a camper, it can do it. If you need to pull your spec Miata to the racetrack, it can do it. And so, just like the GMC Sierra, this truck can do it all. And that's what I love about 2500s and up. They're just built to do work, and they do it pretty good. So overall, I'm really happy with the F-250 Lariat Tremor. I think it's a solid truck, and if you need a workhorse, this is a workhorse. But if you want a daily driver, something that's going to be comfortable, that maybe you'll tow something on the weekends, get an F-150 Platinum. You don't need all this beefy suspension if you're only gonna use it once in a blue moon. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge thank you to Spencer Shipley from Packy Web Ford. He is absolutely awesome. He will find the right vehicle for you. If you are looking for a vehicle, please contact him. His information is up on the screen, as well as linked in the description below. Super helpful. He will find the right car for you, whether it be an F-250 or maybe it's a Ford Escape. Maybe it's the new Explorer ST. I can't recommend that one enough. I love that. Or if you want an F-150 Platinum, again, highly, highly recommend that one. Spencer is your guy, so give him a call, shoot him an email, let him know what you're looking for. He works with all budgets, and he will get you into a great vehicle. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys.